dollars, that's what the pussy cost me. And when the nigga started hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastic, that's what the hoes call me. Fuck your trip, I'm this is Mizuma TV, and I'm back with some more boxing talk. All right, guys, I'm here to talk about Sean Porter. I've pretty much been slacking on this, but congratulations to his victory over uh, Andre Berto last night. I had predicted that he was going to win, but by a decision, you know what I'm saying? I thought um, Berto was too experienced, and I thought that um, he he had a, I thought he was tough enough to pull through through the fight. And uh, for most of the fight, he had remained strong, but the referee had decided it was enough in the ninth round. So um, it is what it is, man. Um <laughs> Uh, Sean, Sean Porter was the same Sean Porter that we've always seen to come forward aggressive style the uh, smother your offense even his own um, good body work you know what I'm saying just real aggressive style that I've never seen another fighter um, really do as much as Sean Porter, he tried to mix it up with the boxing ability but I think he realized that um, at points Porter I mean Berto had been successful at some points in the fight when he was just trying to box with him. So um, he went back to that aggressive style, ended up stopping him in the ninth round. So uh, shout out to uh, Porter for that. I like him, you know what I'm saying? Good dude and um, good fighter, you know what I'm saying? So what I want to talk about is what's next for Sean Porter, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he had been calling out Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman went in the ring. Uh, he seemed as if it seemed as if uh, Keith Thurman was willing to make that fight happen again, but uh, I don't think it will be anytime soon because I think he has to fulfill his mandatory. And David Evanesian, the one who had defeated Shane Mosley um, not too long ago, so I think he has to fulfill that mandatory unless they pay him some step aside money. But um, besides all of that, um, besides Keith Thurman, man, the fight that I really want to see and. Um, I think a lot of fight fans would agree with me. I would like to see Sean Porter and Danny Garcia go at it. Um, a lot of people would claim that this is Keith Thurman leftovers, but this is still a good fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of motherfuckers wasn't saying it was Mayweather leftovers when Cotto and Canelo fought each other. So let's see that happen. And whoever wins between them two will uh, face Keith Thurman for the rematch. You know what I'm saying? Both of those guys won rematches. Both of those guys um, believe that they have won their fight, their fights against Keith Thurman. So let's just see. Let's see them get in the ring. Danny doesn't seem to have a problem with it. He says Sean Porter is tailor-made for his style. Sean Porter disagrees and believes he could defeat uh, Danny Garcia, he has mentioned it on several occasions. A lot of the top welterweights think Danny is easy work. And, um... The only one to have proved it so far was Keith Thurman. So um, I would like to see them two get in the ring and, and square off. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a really solid fight. Um, Danny coming off of a loss. He's going to have some new found kind of motivation. And um, Sean Porter, he's coming off of a stoppage win over Andre Berto. So he has a lot of momentum on his side. So I think that would be a pretty good fight to put on at the Barkley Center. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know that's Danny's pretty much that's his home. And um, Sean Porter has had a couple fights there. You know, both of his fights um, back-to-back -back have been there as well. So I don't see why that can't happen. You know, Keith Thurman's fight was at the Barclays. And Andre Berto's fight was in the Barclays as well. And Danny been there for a minute. He fought uh, Zab Judah over there. And that was not that was a long time ago. I believe that's when um, he was at 140 pounds. So, yeah, man, um, if that Danny fight doesn't happen, then he, Berto could, I mean, why the fuck I keep saying Berto? Porter could, he, he could wait for the Kel Brook and Earl Spence winner and, and call them guys out if he wants to. He could pursue the Manny Pacquiao fight, although he may be facing Jeff Horn. I don't know exactly what's going on with that situation. If y'all guys know what's going on between Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao, y'all y'all can leave it in the comments. Let me know what's going on. But, um... He he could definitely. He, those are his two main options. I know he wants a belt, so um, he may not be that. Um, he may not be taking Danny into consideration, but um, to build up his resume and uh, the chance to get a victory over top quality opposition, I believe that um, a fight with Danny Garcia may be a good route to take. You know what I'm saying? And while he was champion, they were considering it, but I don't know at this present time will they be looking to face Danny Garcia. So those are the options that I would love to see Porter uh, go against, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
Porter could do no wrong if he takes any of those options. The Keith Thurman rematch, people would love to see that. A lot of people believe Porter had beat Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I had Keith winning, but um, it was a real close competitive fight, so I could see why people would believe Porter had edged it out. Um, <clears throat> if he goes to fight Danny Garcia, great fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, although we might not see that because I believe Danny's mind really isn't on boxing right now. And... Um, I don't think that he'll go back into a tough fight. I think he'll take another tune-up fight. You know, he might take a little Miguel Cotto approach after the loss against Margarito, go get a little tune-up fight and come back and face top-quality opposition again. But uh, those are the options for Andre Berto. I, I mean, he, he could fight whoever the fuck he want, but those are um, some some things that I would like to see as a hardcore boxing fan. But um, y'all guys, let me know what y'all want to see. Uh, Porter do next and what do you think he deserves next you know what I'm saying uh, leave all your comments down low whatever opinions y'all may have about Berto, Porter Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia whoever, shit maybe even me whatever you know I got I'll be having haters on this motherfucker but it is what it is um, that's a completely different topic let me know what y'all guys think about this shit man this is Mizuma TV subscribe to your boy I'm out